Welcome to Ms. Bampy's Tween Talk, Teen Talk, and In Between Talk. And I am Ms. Bampy. Today we got Tween Talk. So stay and play and have a bloody good time. Or fight me. Welcome back. Today we got Tween Talk. And I am here with my gorgeous tweens, both inside and out. And we're going to talk to them today. And before we get started, and I want to know your names and your age again and about the issues that we talked about that we're all facing, all women dealing with today, challenges, whatever's bothering you deep inside. But before we go there, we got to talk about Glee. OMG, I'm dying, right? Two weeks ago, two weeks ago. Yeah, 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 Lady Gaga, hello. Hey, Lady Gaga, if you're watching, send Ms. Vampy a pair of your freaking shoes, all right? I love, I would look good in my shoes, wouldn't I? Hello? All right, so Glee, such a good episode. We had Rachel, and she was gonna get a nose job, and she's so cute, and I'm like, what? And then Ashley Fink, who plays Lauren, OMG, I mean, she is a bigger girl and she's confident like you said, Stephanie, and she knows who she is and she's dating a hot guy and like, I'm loving that storyline, oh my God. So tell me your name, your age, and your issue again, all right? And then I wanna talk, you can, let's talk about how it relates, like how did that episode of Glee help you? Um, I'm Lacey Kay, I'm 12 years old, and my issue is making the right decisions. Hi, I'm Kayla Parrish. I'm 10 years old and my issue, well, issues is making the right decisions and inner and outer beauty. Hi, I'm Summer Deva. I am 10 years old and my issues are making the right decisions. Hi, I'm Stephanie O'Hara. I'm 12 and, well, one of the many issues. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I have, like, self-reflection and, like, how people see me just get, like, start spazzing out. I'm like, oh my god, I made a mistake. Help me. Um, so, like, like you were saying, Stephanie, though, like about Glee, it's a great example, yeah. right? And like, I mean, did that, how did that episode inspire you? Because it was all about like accepting who we are, right? And like what we are and like being okay with it. I suppose that I'm prettier than some of the popular girls just because they plaster makeup on their face, like they're like building something. Like, and so, and yet I'll walk down and like, no one will look at me. I'm like, wow, am I really that ugly? That's just, that's just depressing. <laughs> well, do you feel ugly? I don't, well, kind. I mean, I'm waging a war on my face right now at the moment. And my hair isn't, is really like thick, so it like poofs out. So like, not an afro, but still, it's like really annoying. And then of course, I have pale skin and dark hair, and that really doesn't work out. <laughs> So you're comparing yourself to who? The blonde hair, blue eyed, like darker skin girls? Who? Um, I just, like my features contrast. Like I think beauty necessarily is when all your features go together and they like quote quote perfect, but they're, I mean, it's impossible for someone to have amazing, completely stunning. But if they don't have like one abnormally, like some, I don't know, like some weirdly shaped eyes or like humongous lips like Sam on Glee. <laughs> exactly, right? Like that was so cool that they showed that everybody's got something that they're insecure about and what one person thinks is attractive, another person yeah. thinks is not, right? So that's what's so crazy about the whole thing, right? right? Yeah, because there's so many people in my school that would be like completely drop dead gorgeous if they had like a smaller mouth or a bigger mouth or something. but. Well, maybe they're gorgeous not now, hello? Because yeah. there's tons of people watching this right now that think you're gorgeous. It's all subjective, <laughs> it's yes, all they're opinions. Wrong. It's I, I have something to say that my, my mom actually just recently got with, like, together with her old high school friends. Um, they went to the big country concert, that's beside the point. Anyways, um, um, she, she had went to her, her uh, like high school reunion and she had seen all her old high school friends, all the popular kids and Geeks and Wait, the, what was she, by the way? Uh, your mom, when she was in high school, was she popular or a nerd? Uh, she was popular. My mom was pretty popular. <laughs> um, but they, and she she said, like, some, some of those girls that <clears throat> are pretty wild, you know, whenever, like, the popular wild girls go out and do these bad things, and then they come back, and it's like, whoa, you have changed, <laughs> you know? And my, my, my mom had shown me a um, long, long time ago, um, like pictures of her when she was younger, and I was like, "You had brown hair, you have blonde hair. This is so weird." And looked so, so serious, 
And I was like, oh my gosh. And it's how all these people like change yeah. and how you see how they are. Like it, it, it basically depends on what you do with your life whenever you're younger to so depend on what you're doing when you're older. That's very true, and you can change in a positive or a negative way, you know, and in a positive or negative direction. Like, at my age, and fortunately, vampires don't ever change, but the good news is you can make choices. Like you said, a lot of people keep mentioning choices, you know, and you can make choices. You can change, and you can, you can change physically. You can change personality-wise. You can change emotionally. You can become a better person any day. It just takes commitment and work. I promise you, I know a lot of old vampires running around, all right? So that's what I want you and all the people watching to know is that there's a lot of power in your choices, and you can choose and make different choices at any point you can start right now and it's very important to know that and you know what Ms. Vampy always tells people there's two kinds of people in this world there's those who quit and those who die trying which one are you huh huh which one are you um, I think I'm I'm gonna gonna die, die trying. trying yeah you gotta die trying because you can't give up your dreams right because that's all we have it really is, you know? We got that inside of us, and you gotta constantly follow it and bring it to fruition and make it happen. And I don't care if it takes 100 years. I mean, look at me, right? Well, um, one of my fears is, like Lacey said, what if I don't accomplish my dreams? What else would I do in life? Sometimes our dreams don't always end up looking like we started out for them to look like, you know? Like sometimes they take a different shape or a different form or a different way of it happening and how it turns out. And that way sometimes is so much better. I swear it is. There, there are times where you go along with what you had planned, but sometimes it switches, it switches and it's not, it's not you personally doing it. It's it's what just happens. It happens and you, you, you find yourself being way more happier, way more, because um, being sad isn't the way you want to live your life, you know? You want to yeah. live happy. And that, that kind of relates to um, who you hang out with. Um, because if, if you hang out with these bad people, you know, and your focus is not on what you're supposed to be, and that's kind of what I'm struggling with, is not keeping my focus on my school and not and my friends because my friends they are they are important but my school will get me a huge career in like being a doctor because I want to be like a, a P, someone who gets their PhD and that's going to be a lot of hard work. Yeah, it is. And so you know, because you know, Lacey, then if, if I want to get from point A to point Z, this is what I got to do. And that's right. If you want to be a doctor, your grades are very important. So sometimes you got to make choices and you got to make sacrifices. And that's very true. That's a good point. If you think that you're not good at something, well, you're always good at something. You just have to find what you're good at. Exactly. Yeah. Like we said, it doesn't always look your exactly talents. how you think it does. Yeah, like if you're performing at your school, like, yeah, and, um, well, you weren't very good, for example. Well, you know, you should be confident that you actually went up on that stage and you yeah. showed what you can do. Absolutely. Even if you and didn't get it. And showing that yeah. you are confident and that, you know, you know who cares if we're laughing? I'm myself in that I will always be. Yeah, and that and you, you think that you called? did good. It's called courage. And courage and being courageous is one of the coolest and hottest things that you can well, have inside. Awesome. Now, there's something super important that I got to say that we got to share with the audience, right? And it's my favorite catchphrase ever. And it is, I'll say it and then use repeat after me and use repeat after me. When faced with fear, dig deep inside, find your inner vamp and vamp it out. Right, right? Do we love this or what? Yeah. All right, good. So when faced with fear, Dig deep inside, find your inner vamp, and vamp it out. Love it. Thank yous.
me. 